the Battle of the Bridge 2.0 and it's Chelsea versus Tottenham again at Stamford Bridge but this time a different Tottenham under Antonio Conte who has been thriving as Tottenham manager a wonderful 4-1 victory for them at home last weekend saw Kulusevski shine and Emerson Royale were even playing well Chelsea on the other hand also won but did look a bit unconvincing as they won 1-0 at Goodison Park due to a Jorginho penalty today will be extremely interesting however I'm going for a 2-0 Spurs win and I think this is just a different Tottenham Hotspur that we simply haven't seen before I think Kane will score both goals today I wouldn't be surprised if there's red cards in this game we've seen it before but one thing is for sure it's going to be a cracker of a game a cracker of an afternoon and tensions are going to be flying i'm going to take you with me we made it what about this guy outside the stadium now spurs actually made no changes chelsea though i put loftus cheek at right wing back that is going to be very interesting he's going to be up against son today a massive test of his arms Let's see how he deals with it. Spurs fans over there. It's going to be a cracker. New boy Raheem Sterling. He starts today. VAR screen literally right there. I wonder if any drama will be happening today that that will come in use.
A minimum of six minutes at its time. Jesus Christ, that is football, and that's the Premier League. What an advert that is for the Premier League. Um, finished Chelsea 2, Spurs 2. Um, my hair's like this, I'm wearing a hat. Um, but, I mean, that's just unbelievable. That is what football is. I mean, Kane, right at the death, had an awful game as well. We missed a massive chance. That, ultimately, looking back on it, hindsight's a brilliant thing, but that probably would have won it for us. Um but look, obviously, Conte and Tuchel after as well. That's just one of the best games I've ever been to. A Premier League absolute classic. It was pretty much the Battle of the Bridge 2.0. But this time, Spurs came back and not Chelsea. I mean, I don't know how I didn't celebrate in that Chelsea end. But you know I am. When I go to these games, I'm always very neutral um, in my vlogs and stuff. And to be honest, Chelsea played extremely, extremely well. They probably did deserve to win it. But... You don't always get what you deserve in football, and that's quite frank. For me, Koulibaly and Cucurella were the standout performance, as well as Kante. I think Koulibaly was unbelievable, and you can tell Cucurella did play for Barcelona in the past as well. All these little flicks and tricks he does. Anyway, guys, my next vlog is going to be next Saturday. I'm off to the Spurs game, Spurs versus Wolves, so keep your eyes peeled for that. There will also be game week predictions. How have I done this week in my predictions? You'll be able to see in the video coming later this week. We also have a special guest on for that again. So, as I said, keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram for that, goals and gossip underscore. I'll link it in the description. But ultimately, make sure you're subscribed. Smash a massive like on this video if you enjoyed it. I, I know I certainly did. And yeah, I'll be back soon with another video. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.